Hi, this is Uday Mittal from Yaksha CSC and in this video I'll give you a peek into the world's supreme intelligence gathering tool. The tool we are talking about is XKeyScore or XKS as it is known in short. It has been widely criticized ever since its existence became known through the documents leaked by Edward Snowden in 2013. The Intercept quoted it as the NSA's Google for the world's private communications. RT.com says that querying that tool is as easy as typing a few words in Google. The Guardian quoted it as the tool that collects nearly everything a user does on the internet. First, let's have a bird's eye view of XKeyScore. XKeyScore is a distributed processing and querying system developed by the National Security Agency of the United States of America. It monitors and collects communications that most likely contain foreign intelligence or counterintelligence information. What data does it intercept or monitors? It intercepts nearly everything a user does on the internet. It has eyes on the emails chats, voice calls, video calls, web search, social media activity, web history, keystrokes, photos, documents and username password pairs. Who feeds it all this data? It is fed a constant flow of internet traffic from fiber optic cables that form the backbone of the world's communication network. The surveillance system boasts of approximately 150 field sites in countries such as the United States of America, the United Kingdom, Russia, Pakistan, Japan and many others. Together, these field sites consist of over 700 servers. What is the volume of data collected and stored by the system? In one day, it collects more than 20 terabytes of data which make up approximately 2 billion records. In 2012, in one 30-day period, the program acquired 41 billion records. The content remains on the system for only 3 to 5 days, while the metadata stays on the system for 30 days. Who can access this data? Let's hear this from Edward Snowden. Uh, my name is Ed Snowden. I'm uh, 29 years old. I work for Booz Allen Hamilton as an infrastructure analyst for NSA uh, in Hawaii. Any analyst at any time can target anyone, uh, any selector anywhere. Where those uh, communications will be picked up depends on the range of the sensor networks and the authorities that that analyst is uh, empowered with. Not all analysts have the ability to target everything, but I sitting at my desk uh, certainly have the authorities to, to wiretap anyone from you or your accountant to a federal judge to even the president if I had a personal email. Apart from NSA analysts, numerous key NSA partners including Canada, New Zealand and the United Kingdom have access to the mass surveillance databases of XKeyScore. With its huge processing power and the volume of data that goes into the system, it can help NSA answer some really interesting questions such as, show me all the encrypted word documents from Iran. My target speaks German but is in Pakistan. How can I find him? I have a jihadist document that has been passed around through numerous people. Who wrote this and where were they? Show me all the exploitable machines in country X. A question people often ask is why do we need a system like XKeyScore? XKeyScore was primarily developed to combat terrorism and preempt attacks like 9-11. As per NSA documents, by 2008, 300 terrorists had been captured using the intelligence provided by the system. It also proved helpful in capturing a senior Al-Qaeda leader and Osama bin Laden confidant who googled himself including his various aliases and associate and the name of his book. Finally. Let's look at the factors that have sparked a strong debate in the opposition of the system. 
A NSA analyst could query the system by filling in a simple on-screen form and giving only a broad justification for the search. Only some searches conducted by NSA analysts are periodically reviewed by their supervisors within the NSA. According to Edward Snowden, it is very rare for an analyst to be questioned on their searches and even when they are, it is usually along the lines of let's just bulk up the justification. Such easy access and minimal review may lead to a blatant abuse of power. For example, while the FISA Amendments Act of 2008 requires an individualized warrant for targeting of US citizens, NSA analysts are permitted to intercept the communications of those citizens without a warrant who are in contact with one of the NSA's foreign targets. Another example is a letter to Senator Ron Wyden from Director of National Intelligence James Clapper in which he acknowledged that NSA analysts have exceeded even legal limits as interpreted by the NSA in domestic surveillance. Given the increasing rate of terrorist activities, governments across the world need an intelligence gathering tool to preempt them. However, such tools often put enormous power in the hands of people interacting with them. This power can create havoc if left unchecked. To learn more about X-Keyscore, please go through the articles, documents and videos mentioned here.